Hello everyone. So today in this video I'd like to talk a little bit about muscular dystrophy. In an earlier video I briefly mentioned that I have a type of muscular dystrophy and I want to go into a little bit more detail um, in this video. So I'll preface that by saying that um, it's a little bit of a balancing act, and I don't want this channel to just be about, you know, muscular dystrophy. Um, I don't want to deny that this is something that I have to deal with in my life, but on the other hand, I don't want to have it define me. So it's a little bit, um, you know, so I'm going to talk about it in this video, but, you know, frankly, um, having a disease or having a disability isn't something that occupies my thoughts every waking moment, fortunately. Uh, so, you know, I think about lots of other stuff, uh, you know, as one example, um, you know, it's kind of like, you know, Stephen Hawking didn't think of every moment about having ALS, you know, he thought about black holes and gravity and general relativity and all the other cool scientific stuff. So the type of muscular dystrophy that I have is um, called limb girdle muscular dystrophy. It's kind of a weird name. Uh, sometimes it's uh, abbreviated LGMD, which um, if you just look at the acronym, no, it doesn't have anything to do with you know, um, gender identity, orientation, any of that. Um, but it means that um, it tends to weaken the muscles, particularly uh, around the shoulders and the hips. Although it turns out the first muscles that were weakened in my case were in my calf muscles. The first thing I noticed was that, you know, after going for a run, I couldn't, you know, stand up on my tiptoes. Um, and it's one of uh, the, what I have in particular is one of 30 some different genetic forms of limb girdle muscular dystrophy. Um, what that means is that every form is caused by a mutation in a different gene that's necessary for your muscles to function correctly. And the type that I have, and most of the types actually, are recessive, which means that you have two copies of the gene. If either one of them works correctly, you don't have any symptoms. It's only if you have two bad copies and can't make the pro this particular protein that your muscles need that you have symptoms. Um, so what that typically means is uh, often people will have either no family history at all or um, they might have a, a sibling who's affected. Um, so there's no family history in my case. You know, my parents uh, were both carriers, uh, but they didn't have any way of knowing they were carriers until, you know, they you know, had kids together, and then I started to have symptoms. Um, so what this also means is that the most, well, the best known form of muscular dystrophy uh, tends to affect um, young boys. Uh, why boys? Because that particular gene is on the X chromosome, if you're male, you only have one X chromosome, so you only get one chance to get the, the gene right. If you're female, you have two chances. Um, that gene I got correctly. Um, it was the one that I had two chances for that I struck out on. So I had um, no symptoms growing up. I was actually very athletic. I was a competitive figure skater. I uh, ran cross country, I uh, did a lot of skiing growing up in California, um, you know, normal 
you know, no, no major issues. Um, then about uh, when I was 18, I started to notice muscle weakness initially in my calf muscles. As I mentioned before, I can't, I stopped being able to uh, stand up on my tiptoes. Um, and that gradually progressed over the years. Um, so I was able to, you know, keep, um, you know, running for a little while and, you know, doing other things, you know, swimming, bike riding. Um, kept being able to walk for about 20 years after first having symptoms. Now I use a wheelchair, um, but it's not the end of the world. Um, you know, it's just kind of what I do. Yes, there are some more challenges in life, but, you know, you can, you can live a, a good and fulfilling life, you know, even if you have a disease. Um, so the other thing, you know, I'd like to, to say is that this, you know, with the lemons that life has given me, um, I've also had some opportunities. Um, I studied physics initially, um, in college, uh, but now I've actually gotten into biomedical research. Um, I, you know, moved across the country, started working for a foundation which um, conducts uh, research specifically on this particular form of muscular dystrophy. So I'm actually being able to get involved and, you know, direct some of the research, you know, on my own disease. Uh, will it lead to a treatment or cure for me? Maybe, um, but you know, hopefully, you know, it will lead to you know treatments for all the other patients that I've gotten to know over the years, and you know, I've gotten to know some you know really amazing people. Um, yes, we got connected to each other through a misfortune, but I feel you know very lucky to have been able to know them. So um, that's a little bit um, about, about this aspect of my life. And you know, there's a lot more which I'll sort of divvy up into, into other videos. And um, hope you're all having a good day whenever and wherever you're watching this from. So I'll talk to you later.